Hello guys, welcome to this video. In this video, our question is a right triangle with side 6 cm, 8 cm, and 10 cm is revolved about the side 8 cm. Find the volume and the cut surface area of the cone so formed and then to take the value of phi as 3.14. So, first in the question is given that we are given a right triangle with side 6 cm, 8 cm, 10 cm. So if we draw the right uh, triangle, it will become like this. So this side 8 cm, this side 6 cm and uh, this hypotenuse will be 10 cm. Now with this we need to form a uh, cone. So if we draw a cone like this. So in this cone also you can see that if we draw a straight line in between. We will get a right angle triangle like this. So in this triangle you can clearly see that this side is 10 cm. And we have revolved around the 8 cm. So as we have revolved around the 8 cm. So this height will become 8 cm. And definitely this portion that is this radius it will become 6 cm. So similarly if we will uh, remove this side we can clearly see that we will get a right sided triangle. So similar diagram will be for the cone also. So for in this cone, our 8 cm will be the height, 6 cm will be the radius and 10 cm will be the slant height. So you write, height will be equal to 8 cm, slant height will be equal to 10 cm and our radius will be 6 cm. So now you need to find the volume and the cut surface area of this cone. So you write, therefore, volume will be equal to. So the formula for the volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h. So with this formula we will apply. So 1 by 3 into. So pi value in the question it is given at 3.14 you have to take. So 1 by 3 into 3.14 into r square. So r square means this radius square so 6 into 6 since it is square we are writing 6 two times into height that is our 8 centimeter so 3 and 6 cancel it will become 2 so it becomes 3.14 into 2 into 6 into 8 so 3.14 into 2 into 6 into 8 if we do it will become 96 now finally 3.14 into 96 it becomes 301.44 so this will be the volume so centimeter cube so this will be the volume now you will find a curved surface area so curved surface area will be equal to pi r l so this is the formula so l means of a slant height so pi means 3.14 into radius will be 6 into slant height that is 10 so it becomes 3.14 into 10 into 6 so 3.14 into 60 so finally 3.14 into 60 it becomes 188.4 centimeter square so this is the final answer for this question so guys thanks for watching this video and please subscribe my channel for more solution like this